this video we're going to make a rock, paper, scissors game. It may end up being a two-part video, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'll try to keep an eye on the time. First thing we're going to need to do is import something to have the user input a random number. We're also going to have to import a scanner, so we'll just do the import java.util.star. And that will be all the imports we need. That will cover both of them. So let's get a scanner first. So scanner input, like I said earlier, we can use any word for input equals new scanner system dot in. And let's see, we'll also need to let's have the user pick one. Nah. Uh whoa, that is not what I meant to do. Pick your weapon. Like a kind of neat little interface here. So let's see. Pick your weapon. We'll have one. Put two tabs there for rock. Go to a new line. Two. Put a few tabs there. Paper. New line. And three will be scissors. Alright, uh, let's just run that real quick, make sure it is running how we want to. Pick your weapon, one is rock, two is paper, three is scissors. And uh, it looks a little spaced out, so I want to go to one tab. Okay, now I'll try not to slow us down with stuff like that anymore. So let's see, uh, will you need a integer, integer, uh user weapon, we'll call these weapons, equals input dot next int. So one is rock, two is paper, three is scissors. Easy to remember because it goes in the same order that you would expect. And then we need a computer weapon. I keep doing that for some reason. So we'll have the computer randomly choose a weapon. Random. We'll just call it rand equals new random. I actually cannot remember what the convention is for rand there. It's actually it might just be random. I don't know. It doesn't matter because I don't always follow convention. I try to, but sometimes I mess it up. So int computer weapon equals rand dot next int. Need a three inside there and a plus one out here. So that will give the computer a random number between one, two, and three. So we aren't actually going to tell the computer what's a rock, what's a paper, and rock, what's a scissors. We're just going to do the output based off the numbers that we get. So, I uh, guess we'll have three if statements. If, well, three main if statements and three nested ones inside there. If computer weapon equals one will go inside here so if computer weapon equals two we'll go inside that one and it looks like I forgot the P there and if computer weapon equals three we'll go inside of that if statement and I have a whole lot of trouble spelling weapon for some reason. But it doesn't matter. Because NetBeans tells me when I'm wrong. Anyways. So if the computer weapon is rock. If user weapon equals one. Uh, computer picked rock. Game is a tie. If user weapon is 2. So if the computer is a rock still, because we're inside of that if statement. If the computer is not a rock, it will not make it to here. So if computer weapon is 2. Or if, let's see, user is... Ah, computer is rock. User is paper. Paper covers rock. You win. And if user weapon 
equals three. We'll say rock smashes paper. Ah, rock smashes scissors. Rock does not smash paper. You lose. Going to have very similar statements in all these. We're just going to copy and paste that. Uh, a lot of coding that I actually do is copy and pasting. If I already have the code for doing something, I do not actually rewrite it. So, here's the weapon equal. Here the computer has paper. So, computer picked rock. Uh, let's see, rock. Let's see. Alright. Computer has rock. No, computer has paper. User has rock. So, paper covers rock. You lose. I have no clue why that gave me so much trouble. So, here, computer has paper. User has paper. Uh, computer picked rock. Er, computer picked paper. Game is a tie. And I should be capitalizing game, just so no one gets in the comments and says, Hey, you didn't capitalize that. It's not important. We're not doing English here, but... I will anyways. So, your computer is paper. Er. Yeah, that's already that one. So, here it would be scissors cut paper. You win. Here, the computer has scissors. Uh, the computer has scissors. The user has rock. So, rock smashes paper. You win. We'll type in uh, scissors cut paper. You hold on. Computer has scissors. All right, this should not be rock smashes paper. I don't know why this gives me so much trouble. Computer has scissors. User has rock. Rock smashes scissors. Alright, and the third one, is, this is where everyone has paper. So, uh, or everyone has scissors. Pick sc computer, pick scissors, game is a tie. Alright, I think this is gonna work, let me, uh, Read through this here. Computer has rock. User has both have rock. So first, second, and third one should be a tie. Then the computer has rock there. Paper. Uh, yep. You know what? Something may be wrong here, but I don't want to bore you with going through this. This is just the basic outline. If I have a small logic error, it's something that you can find on your own. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure someone will have that in the comments. Please do if I actually have one. So we'll run this. Uh, shift F6 to run. Pick your weapon. I want to go with paper. Computer pick paper. Game is tie. Sounds right. Uh, actually, compute. Right before I do that, I actually do want to have them print something else. If Let's see, computer weapon equals, uh, actually, we can do that in here. Inside this if statement, we'll tell it, computer picked rock. Computer picked paper. Inside here, computer picked scissors. 
So it's going to look a little weird in some of these, depending on the outcomes, what the uh, printing is, but it's all going to work just fine. Computer picks scissors, scissors cuts paper, I lose. Anyways, I'm not going to go through and run any more of these. Uh, if you need to pause the video and look at all the code, you can do that here. You can do that here. And you can do that here. And it'll get you all the code you need. And so I appreciate you watching this video. I used to ask people to subscribe to my channel. Starting to think that's a bad idea because I'm going to be posting a lot of these videos and you're really just going to want to go through these at your own pace. So uh, do not subscribe, but hit that like button and leave me a comment telling me you appreciate it or hey, you, I want you to do this, you can do this better. Whatever you think needs to be commented on, please do. And thanks for watching.